pages are different than groups because if you're not like engaged with the page, you won't get like notifications. But I'll make sure you're on all the, all the groups and pages. Because well, right. when you when you sent it to me, it went to my phone. But then it made me it wanted me to log into Facebook again, and I was like, no, yeah, I'm that's gonna, not cool. I'm just going to Facebook. All right. It's so we are now live on Facebook and I probably won't. Let me see if I can. I'm going to try to see who's all there for a second. And then look, I, well, you can't see Look, uh, well, you can't see it with my background. Sure. It worked for a second. Oh, cool. I've got a picture and a picture here. Um, I'm just going to see if anyone comes on. I, I was supposed to come on at 7.15 and I thought it was seven. So I'm sure people are like, get it together, Kay. Let's see who's here. Ta-da. I'm going to try to refresh. We're on Zoom on Facebook Live. So it looks a little bit different people. I'm looking, looking, there's the video. Oh, there's, there we are. Um, all right. So if you, if anyone comes to join us, just comment so we can see your, your comments, but I'm here with my roommate from college. And Yay! Let's go back to college. I know seriously, but if we were in college, we couldn't drink alcohol. Oh, well, well we I could our we senior could. year. We Look could. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't yeah. turn 21 until my senior year. You too. Uh, yeah, probably. I, I remember I turned 21 the night before I had to take the MCAT. So I think I, I remember that. I didn't drink because it was like, well, I have yep. to take the MCAT. So, oh, good. Sherry Simon's here. Susie's here. Teresa's here. Um, awesome. So yes, we were just swapping roommate stories. I've got my roommate on Zoom and then we're also on Facebook Live. So I'm majorly multitasking. So if you have the paper pumpkin kit, I was super pumped. It's kind of dark over where I am right now, but it'll get lighter in my crafting area. So um, I love gingerbread houses. Uh, yes, Sherry was, was 18 when the sherry was in college when the drinking age was 18 that's pretty cool well it's not as if we never had a drink in college when we were under 21 i'm telling you for sure um and so this is the uh the the kit that we're working on tonight and i'm going to show you how to make the gift card holder that comes in the kit it's super cute I know it's really dark over here, but that's because all the light is on my crafting area. And then um, we're going to show you a card that you can make with it. So I'm going to flip over here to my crafting area. Get my super duper camera going. My camera is very elaborately connected to a folding chair, so it's not, it's totally rigged. All right, and I'm gonna flip it around. Let's go back. I'm not gonna be able to see your comments tonight because of the way I'm accessing this. So if I seem to be ignoring you, it's not on purpose. Okay, so we're gonna scoot down to our crafting area and you guys should see like a green pack of paper there is what we're aiming for. All righty. So, all right. We love our box. It comes every month. I got extras of this box because I love Christmas and I really love gingerbread houses. The decorations in our front yard are gingerbread themed. So when I saw this box, I kind of lost my mind. And uh, to be honest, I meant to order like three extra, but I only ordered two. So, um, but I made this up. And here's what I like, love about Paper Pumpkin is I had to take Hope to an appointment today and I threw in my scissors and my adhesive and I made this in the car while I was waiting because of course you can't go into appointments with your children anymore. You just sit and wait in the car. So um, I was happy to sit and make my Paper Pumpkin whilst my daughter was 
having her physical therapy. And this is what I made. It's a cute little gift card holder. And that's kind of the standard, like what, what you could make, like that's the main thing that you make. It kind of comes in this cute little envelope that's in the box and you just stick your little gift card down in there. So it's adorable. And honestly, with this year, I'm not sure how much shopping, I mean, I've done a fair amount of online shopping for my children, but as far as like nuts and bolts and presents go for lots of people, I'm probably gonna do a lot of gift cards. So everyone likes to shop online, including my family and friends. And so they need get, we need gift card holders. So let me show you. Uh, another thing that you can do with this kit in a second, I'll show you is this little gingerbread house and you could uh, put things in it, give it away. Like you need to kind of put a little bottom on it, which wouldn't be too hard, but um, you can put two of those little kits together to make a box. And then at the end, uh, we're gonna make this card. So it shouldn't take us very long because we have a gift card and a card. They're both pretty simple. Um, and voila, let me show you how this works. So first of all, this kit is everything. I love the colors, I love the theme. And um, this is what I love the most. These little stick on candies. I just think they're the cutest. I'd like to buy those in bulk. We even have a little roll of adhesive here to put our gift card holders together. Your little cardboard box, pull it out because it's gonna have your instructions, which usually I just toss aside because um, this is not hard. And Amy, you don't have to mute, but you're welcome to mute. Like you can still, it's not, you're not on quarantine from talking over there, but you've also got family in the background. So totally whatever you need to do is fine. Um, okay. So let me, now one thing I noticed, and this happens sometimes with these photo polymer stamps is um, you'll see like the stamping was a little like grainy almost. So sometimes what you have to do is you have like when the stamps come from the manufacturer, they need like a little cleaning. Um, and so like they have a sheen or something on them. So if you see it kind of stamping weird like that, I just get a wipey or whatever and um, give it a good cleaning. Dry it off on your sleeve, which is what I'm doing right now. All right, so I've got that stamp and then let me clean this one off too. Um, just sometimes it gets that, that sheen on it. I don't really know what that's all about, but get manufactured. Okay, so you're gonna start with one of your brown pieces, okay? And this is our little gingerbread house. This one has a green door. I've already done the one with the green door. So let me do one with a yellow door. And let me see if what other all doors. Oh, there's a dark green door too. Let me do that one. I haven't done that yet. So you're going to pull out one of these little brown pieces. Okay. Now you don't have to follow that what the picture has, but I'm going to because I like for my stuff to end out exactly like the picture. But um, you've got your little green piece and then you need to find your overlay that has the little uh, candies that arch over the door. So there's all the different overlays. But this is the one we're looking for. Right? Yeah, actually, there's another one. Let me show you. Oh, here they all are in a big pile. It's the one that candies arch over the door, but the candies are all stuck to each other. And it has a heart um, in the little opening. So you got that little piece. And um, the other thing you're gonna need for this house is a little, is to pop out of this little piece. And you're going to find that little piece and pop out one of these light green rectangles. So Amy, just give me a thumbs up when you're, when you're ready. I don't want to go too fast. Awesome. 
Amy's a virtual teacher, so she's a pro with Zoom. I'm sure she would like to kick Zoom to the curb a lot of days. Um, okay, so the first stamp we're getting is this one that kind of looks like an arch almost. It's like a swirly arch. And it's on your little stamp set. This one. And then you need your little ink spot. Now your ink spot is um, Blushing Bride. And I think, let me see if I can pop over here to the Facebooks and make sure people are not going bananas. Um, All right. Look for that. Did you find that stamp, Amy? I'm just going to see if everyone's doing okay. If there's any questions. Sometimes when I multitask, it's not effective, but we'll just see how it goes. I can always, oh, here we are. Hey, there's Sherry, Susie, and Sherry. Awesome. We'll see if the comments stay updated. All right, so to open this little ink spot, um, you're going to need to take your scissor and just kind of rake across it like this. And that kind of cuts that paper. And then you can pop that open easier. And this is called Blushing Bride. It's a nice pink. Now, if you've got this ink, then I like to just do this and pop it onto the ink, the whatever, the stamp instead of vice versa. Good and inky. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. And then you're just going to arch that over just like this. Voila! And you got your little curly, curly situation going on. I'm watching Amy to see if you're, just give me a thumbs up when you're ready. So this little, this little stamp is going to give you some detail to your little house that you put on top. You could do it without a stamp and it would still be really cute. Like if you don't want to stamp and you're in a hurry, then you could just assemble it without stamping. All right, so you've got your little arch there and then you're gonna this little piece and it's like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a butterfly. And this little piece, you're going to stamp right underneath that heart, like just sort of give it a, World right underneath that heart. So now you've got some really pretty details on your little house. I'll scoot that down some too so you can see it good. I love paper pumpkin. It's it's a really fun treat that you can give yourself at Christmas or any time of the year. Um, I especially like it at Christmas because it is a fun gift. As, like if you have lost touch with like someone in your family or your friends, then you could give your friend a paper pumpkin subscription and say, I'm FaceTiming you on X date and y'all could put the kit together together. So it's a fun thing that you can do with other people on Zoom or just FaceTime. Like you can FaceTime someone and catch back up with them. So that's a fun gift. But for gifting purposes, you can get um, a subscription for a month. You can get three months, six months, or 12 months, kind of like 
Harry and David Fruit of the Month or whatever. But also you can just do a month to month subscription. And I think that's easier, honestly, than um, the the prepaid subscription kinds. But um, either way, it's a fun, it's a great gift. All right, Amy, let me know. Thumbs up when you're caught up here. So Amy lives in Tulsa and I live in Little Rock. And it's so fun because we can do this together on Zoom. We're good, okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little roll of adhesive. It's like a, like a tape roll almost. And find the end of it. And then we're gonna stick it. So you see how this, this thing has a flap? We're getting this adhesive just right down the brown part of this flap and you just tear it off like it's called tearing tape. You just tear it off. You don't try to cut it off because then your scissors will get all gunky. So just put a little strip of it right here. And then it's good to kind of smash that down. That kind of gets it stuck down to the paper. And then you can use scissors or your fingernail. And I have this great take your pick tool. It's 10 bucks and it can reach up under that and peel that off really easily. So this is like double stick tape, the backing is basically what it is. It's called tear and tape. And then this is, I wouldn't say this is tricky, but this is how you would assemble it. So you're gonna fold this back Okay, and I like to kind of do it this way. You fold this down and then you just fold this over on top of it to meet it. Okay, if you try to like hold it up in the air and stuff, you're gonna get frustrated, but you're just folding that over on itself. It's like, a, it reminds me of a McDonald's like fried apple pie box. Like it just kind of makes a little box that's sort of like a pouch. Okay, dokie. How are we doing, Amy? Good, all right. So we have our little box and it looks like you could put a little apple pie in there. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, yeah, my Windows is not going to install an update right now, sorry. I hope it doesn't. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this overlay on top of here, but you're looking for the dimensionals. Those are the pop-up hexagon little things in your packet. And, and they are uh, they're in your box. They look something like, Mine are, I think mine are still in the car from when I was crafting, but they kind of look like this. Did you find them? They look like this, hexagons. And so you're gonna put one on I'll make this bigger. There we go. Oh, you know what? I need to spotlight this. Let me go back to Zoom and I'll spotlight this so you can see it better. I can't believe I forgot that. You think this was the first time I ever taught a Zoom class? <laughs> All right, now you can see that better, hopefully, Miss Amy. All right. So 
we're going to stick a dimensional on the back of this little house situation. Then you're going to peel the backing off. These things are all over my house. And this is going to go right here, right around that little door. It's just precious. Oh, I see yours, Amy. Very cute. All right. Now we're going to put our little, you're looking for your rectangle that's got the light green. It's called mint macaron around it. And it looks like we're going to stamp wishing you a jolly Christmas. So it's right here on the bottom. You could also stamp with love and joy. Um, but I'm going to use this one because I like to follow the picture. And I'm going to get my little blocky block. Stick my stamp down to it. And my ink. And that's just going to go right in the middle of my rectangle there. Wishing you a jolly Christmas. And then this little guy is going to go right there with your dimensionals. So one or two, I'll probably put two on there. And that just goes basically about halfway between the little heart and the door. Just kind of smack in the middle there. So cute. And the picture on the on the front of the box doesn't have you using any of these little sticky on -y things for your gift card holders, but I probably would. And so I'm going to probably stick one here. Like I wouldn't stick one there because it would cover up the little heart. But if I were making my gingerbread house, that's where I would put it. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. I'm just, I'm very symmetrical. So that's how I typically do things. The little stickers. They kind of remind me of little beach balls. They're so cute. And that is your total gift card holder. Um, you would give it, of course, in this cute little envelope. And I think your family member would just squeal when they open that because, I mean, a gift card is a gift card. It's exciting. But when it comes presented in such an adorable little package that you made, then that's like extra special. Extra special. All right. Now. Let me show you an alternative use of our little dills here. So if you want to, oh no, that's adorable. So if you wanted to turn this into a card, then I'll show you what you do. It's quite simple. You actually just cut off the flap. And it's a little card. Okay, so if you just wanted to stick a, a little pick-me-up card um, for your friends at work or your neighbors. Now, let's just put another one of these together. I'm going to use this little house. Okay, I'm going to go back, do my stamping. I'm gonna go kind of fast on this one so we can get to our final project here. You're going to stamp this guy right underneath your star. And then you've got your 
other detailing that you're going to do over your arch. Uh -oh. Oops. Down. Got your arch going. I don't want to cover up any of my candy. And this is going to be a card. So I'm probably going to put on this Happy Holidays or more merry. I like more merry. I think that's really cute. And for this one, I'm going to choose one of these little rectangles. And I'm going to stamp more merry on there. It's a little off kilter, but that makes it more handmade. Am I right? And I like to cover up my my and uh, opportunities for embellishment is what I call a stamping mishap. So I, there's this little swirly stamp in there, and I'm just going to fill in that gap with a little swirly stamp. And look, it looks like I meant to do that. All right, and then you're just going to assemble this the same way that you did your other guy with your dimensionals. So we're going to pop, 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 pop. That on the front of your little mini card. And it just depends on what you think you'll use more, if you'll use more little mini cards or if you'll use more little gift card holders, either way. It's fine, you can choose. So there's your little mini card and that goes in an envelope. Look really cute on your presents. Now the final thing that you can do from this is cut the flap off the gingerbread house. And but let's see, cut the flap off and cut the gingerbread house in half to make gift tags. So, oh, that's so cute. I love it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna take, let me see if we've got a, Oh, I wondered. So there's little pieces in here that are full, like there there's no place to pop anything out. So we're going to find one of those. And so I'm going to just I'm going to take the mini card that I made. And I'm actually going to cut off the backing. So we're going to turn this into a gift tag. Okay. And mm, I don't really think it's going to work. I'm going to do it on here. Well, yeah, that'll work. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp on the back of this with my little swirlies. So I've got my arch. And then I'm going to pop in with my little butterfly overlay. You can't see that very well because I've got it covered up with that. So this is going to go here. And then this is where I think one of your little swirly birds, your little swirly dudes is going to look so cute. That there. But you'll notice in your stamp set that you have a two from. So that is the purpose of that is to make a gift tag. So I'm going to get all these stamps off my block so y'all can see what I'm doing. 
I'm going to take my two from. And I'm just going to stick that right here. So then you could like make a little treat for your neighbor. We love to make uh, treats for our neighbors and just leave it on the doorstep. And the funny thing is um, last year I made some, I make puppy chow, which is like the checks version with the, um, what do you call it? Powdered sugar, it's so good. And I left some on my neighbor's porch and they were out of town and their cat got it. And she sent me a picture like three days later and was like, I found your puppy child that you left on the porch. And it was like a shredded bag with just some powdered sugar in it. And so of course I made her some more cause she was so sad. All right, so that can be your cute little gift tag. Um, you can, you could use the front half of your card as another gift tag, okay? You, if you wanted to go really fancy, you could back these onto each other and that could go, this could be on the front and that could be on the back. So however you wanna do it. Um, but I love the little two from, I think that's really cute. You could also just make the mini card and stamp the two from inside and stick that on a package, right? So it's a lot of different ways that you can use it. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, I want to show you how you can make this little 3D house. Now it doesn't have a bottom, so you're going to have to like cut some cardstock and I'll show you how to do that. So you're not like, what? But we'll make a bottom for it. But um, let me show you how to make this three dimensional house. It's not super rocket science-y. Um, you take two little gingerbread house pieces and I pick two that are the same because I just think they need to be the same. And you're gonna get your little sticky here and tape, your little roll of tape. We sell this, like here's my roll, here's my regular roll. So when you buy it from us, it's like got a huge bunch of it, but this roll is teeny weeny. But if you love it, I can get you some more. It's only $7. Um, you're going to stick a little adhesive strip on one of the flaps. Actually, you're going to go ahead and stick adhesive on both flaps, on the brown side of both flaps. Pull off the backing. So you've got adhesive here and you've got adhesive here. And you're gonna line this up right with itself. Turn this over. And you're just gonna fold that over right on top. And that's as simple as that, okay? You're making your little 3D house, okay? But now I need to put like a bottom in that so that whatever you put in there doesn't fall out. What I'm gonna do is just simply figure out what the dimensions of this sucker is. Our dimensions are, dimensions is, dimensions. This is two and, oh, what is that? Two and three eighths. Yes, two and three eighths. So we need something that's, let me think about this, it's not hard. What is hard if you're not a math person? And Amy knows good and well that I'm not a math person. So we'll, we'll see if this works. I'm gonna take some cardstock and we need it to be two and three eighths with a flap. So first we're gonna cut it down. Get my camera over here so you can see it. We're gonna go to two and three eighths. I'm just gonna cut a strip. And then we're gonna just give it a little, about an inch uh, score. We're gonna measure over to the two and three eighths inch mark score, and then give it about an inch and cut. In my mind, this is gonna work, we shall see. Sometimes my mind 
is an all together. Yes, it works perfectly. Okay, no one's gonna be looking inside there, but um, I would just put some of that strippage. Probably what I'm gonna do is just put the strip here and just work it in there. Like you want the flaps to be on the inside so they don't show. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see if I can get it in there without it. So I would just line this up here, line up that crease there and then stick your hand in and push that flap down. That actually worked better than I thought. And then pull this in, line that up. And push that there. All right, so now your box has a bottom and you could fill it up with like a uh, gingerbread I would put like, you could put like a K cup that's like a gingerbread spice coffee and put like maybe some little marshmallows in there. You could do a hot chocolate K cup with some marshmallows. There's all kinds of cute things you could do and make that as a little gift. And if you wanted to make it extra special, you could cover it with your, you could put one of these white overlays just like you did here on the front. I wouldn't necessarily put one on the back. The back is cute enough. But you could put that on the front. Capiche? All right, now the last thing we're gonna make is a card. So I'm gonna take this front of the tag that I, the front of the mini card that I made, and I'm just gonna show you how I might make a standard size card. So I know a lot of us are card makers. And so when we get paper pumpkin, we want to make it into cards and like we love the ones that have cards but sometimes they come with treats and this particular one is treats so let me show you how to make it into a card so i have some mint paper and that's exactly the color of the door because that's what stampin up does they make it easy on you and i'm going to cut it at five and a half or that at four and a quarter. That's the magic way to make a card with card stock. With one piece, you'll get two cards, okay? And then I'm gonna fold that over. And then what I'm gonna do, I, I could stick this here and just be done, but that's kind of boring. So I'm gonna take my little, let's see, let me look at the stamp set first see what else in here. I'm going to go um, I'm just going to fill it in with swirlies. I think this is going to be cute. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to do that. Well, not with the pink ink. Let me get, I'm going to use my mint ink because I think the pink ink on the mint paper would be yucky. So I'm going to use the same color mint ink that I have. And I'm just going to create like a background on my cardstock here by just going across and you're just filling that in. with fun. It doesn't have to be perfect with as a background. Okay, so it's not anything that anyone's gonna get lose any sleep over. We're just filling in these swirlies. I just wanna get that bottom area done. Okay, so now that's way more interesting. And we're just going to pop that up with our little dimensionals. And then I'm going to definitely use our little candies to embellish. What I might do, I'm going to stick that there up a little bit higher because what I'm going to do is take three little candies and go one, two, three. Okay, 
So we've got just a cute little card that you could take your kit and expand it um, just to make a set of cute little Christmas cards with just a package of cardstock and an ink pad. So if you wanted to mo move your stamp, your kit into more and more cards, then you can do that with some ink and some paper. So, um, so I remind you, the paper pumpkin kit is the best gift for Christmas. Okay, it comes once a month. It bills on the 10th and ships afterwards. So I usually get mine around the 15th through the 20th, some point in there. It comes in the mail with everything that you need, the stamp set, the ink. Your first kit will come with this nice block. So you'll have that ready to go. You have all the adhesives. I do recommend, and I've thrown it on the ground. It's landed behind my table. Um, I recommend that you pick up a stamp and seal, like just because it's nice to have a good all-purpose adhesive and you're gonna need some scissors, okay? I also, we didn't use them on this project, but I like to have my own roll of glue dots. They're like $5, they're nothing expensive, but I like those better than the ones. They do provide some in the kit, but they're on this little backing with paper and they just kind of drive me bananas. So that's what I recommend, but you can get a month to month subscription and then just cancel it when you need to cancel it. That's the easiest way to do it because the prepaid subscriptions, they're fine for gifts. They work great for gifts, but they're a little cumbersome. I can help you, no worries. So don't shy away from it. But if I had to prefer one over the other, I would go ahead and do the subscription kit. Um, that's what Amy does. And so hers comes in the mail to her every month. Um, and if you have a child, get two, and then you can do it together. So that's also quite fun. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, so tomorrow, our 12 days of Christmas, we're going to be talking about warm and toasty. And that's on December 3rd at 10. So 10 o'clock tomorrow, join me here on my Facebook page. And today is the last day to take advantage of the Black Friday special. So if you see anything that you want, if you need adhesives, if you need paper, um, a prepaid paper pumpkin kit, then with, if you spend $35, you get the free tags class that we showed um, last week. And I'll flash those up for you. Um, this is what some of them look like. Remember our, our cute little Christmas tags that we made. That seems like so long ago when we made those. Um, and then if it's $50, you get rhinestones. And then for $100 orders, you get tags and rhinestones and scissors. So um, that is my Black Friday special that ends tonight. And the other gift, today's 12 gifts of Christmas is paper pumpkin. And it is better than a box full of puppies. Um, it's super fun to play with and you can do it by yourself and have a crafting oasis or you can invite your friends and your children and you can bond over crafts. I hope you've had a fun time tonight and I shall see you tomorrow. Oh, mm -hmm.